Uh, you know, we keep talking about it seems every other story about the heat and mm -hmm. the con dry conditions and, and all of that. It just doesn't let up, it seems. We live in a tropical desert. Mm. It's a, it's a, we, we live right next to the ocean. Seems like we should be tapping into some of that moisture, but uh, a lot of it bypasses us. We've been under this big ridge of upper level high pressure and uh, it's kind of just shunting any type of rain chances. We're mm. going to be very hot into the next week plus. No rain in the forecast. Just kind of part of life. This is the, the price we pay for the beautiful October to May weather. It's 97 out. Got a heat index of 109. Dew point is in the middle 70s and the wind not terribly strong. You see the American flag kind of lazily blowing around in that east to southeast 11 mile per hour wind. Mainly clear skies across South Texas. Most of the state is rain free and sunny. There are some showers and storms in the western part of the state, but most of the state and most of the populated areas of Texas are under some sort of heat advisory or heat warning and triple digits are having their way with the state. It's 106 right now in the DFW area, 101 in the capital, and we're at 97 in Corpus Christi. This is all uh, because of that upper atmosphere high pressure. It's sitting right over northeastern Texas, and this is not going to go anywhere over the next week. It's going to hang out with us, and over the weekend, early next week, it'll elongate over much of the southwest and southern parts of the country. And what that'll do uh, is it's going to keep the temperatures well up above average near 100 and the heat index values. They're going to be 115 plus uh, heading into the weekend slash early next week. The winds are going to pick up a little bit and that'll bring in more humidity, which will uh, just tack on a few extra degrees to the heat index. No rain in the forecast aside from a rogue sea breeze shower. You see the big hole over Texas. That's the influence of that upper atmosphere high pressure. So day to day we're going to be challenging record high temperatures. This is right on through the weekend. Remember we we're talking about that wind getting a little bit breezier by the weekend early next week and with that more humidity heat index 115 to 117. Uh, headed our way looks like for the weekend and early next week. The tropics are quiet. We've got a tropical wave in the middle of the Atlantic. Now just a low 30% chance to develop over the next seven days. Uh, a lot of Saharan dust that's trying to get through and there really aren't any threats uh, for Texas or the US over the next seven days. Tonight full moon. Don't forget about that. It's going to be rising in the eastern sky just before nine o'clock. It'll look nice and big with the Earth's atmosphere magnifying a little bit. 77 overnight southeast breeze under five miles per hour by sunrise tomorrow morning. 98 for Wednesday record high is 100 for the date. Heat index 110 to 115. The southeast winds won't be terribly strong, but may gust to around 25 miles per hour at times. Bus stop Bobby's getting all he can get on the boating outlook because he's about to go back to school. Some chop on area bays, southeast wind 5 to 15 knots uh, on area near shore waters, and it does get breezier. That's kind of uh, eh, can help, but it can also hurt. It's going to be like nature's fan, but it brings in more humidity and that boosts the heat index values a little bit higher. Uh, so near record warmth for the next seven days and there's a, a International Space Station passed okay. tonight. That's what I was working on before okay. the weather with, segment. With the full moon. Yeah, full, there's yeah. a lot to see. We'll there's have that a lot, of, lot of space news happening. Yeah. Tomorrow there's a Starlink thing too. We'll have that tomorrow. Man, yeah. bus stop Bobby has a cool dad letting him get on the boat before the start of school. Yeah. All fun stuff. And you know, we're talking, <laughs> we're talking about the heat. Uh, you got to imagine the pavement out there. Oh my gosh. Well,